The river is an amazing place. It provides so much positive energy. And today with fast-paced society, the, this, this world that we're plugged into, people actually don't get a chance to connect with what's been given to us. It's an amazing natural resource. Uh, the beauty of the North Branch is just unsurpassed by any river system I've been on. And it allows people just to sit back, relax, take it in. I find that a lot of my clients, it's not necessarily about catching a fish. It's more about the entire experience and appreciating what we have here. I really believe that uh, it's important for people to understand uh, what a river system like the North Branch provides our environment. It's the bottom of the chain. The aquatic insects that feed the trout, uh, the cold water, the oxygen, all of it that feeds the environment is critically important and most people don't understand that importance. So connecting them with those aquatic insects, showing them woody debris and why it's important in a river, showing them where trout live, and then the overall experience of understanding this is an amazing natural resource and we need to be connected with it. So when I leave the river with my clients, I really want them to have that connection because without that connection, that resource isn't important and as we move into the future, we need to have our youth connected to that resource so they'll, so they'll take care of it in, into perpetuity. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> Honey! <laughs> <laughs> Most days start around 9, 9.30. Uh, the, the reason for that is, you know, uh, grouse, they, they kind of have banker's hours, you know. They don't come out of the trees until it's a, a little warmer out, a little, a little more in the day. They kind of uh, hit, the, hit the deck, so to speak, a little later in the day. So it's kind of a nice... Uh, uh, easy going hunt. It's not like deer hunting where you got to be out there at, you know, before the crack of dawn. The way we, we meet here, uh, we, we load up. Uh, I've already got my dogs in the truck. Uh, it depends on how many people. Most of the time, most of my hunts are two people. Uh, very seldom I have more than two. And, and that's how the hunts are more geared for here at, 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 at the North Branch Outing Club. It's more one-on-one -on -one type uh, uh, hunting experience, so to speak. Plus, you know, when you're in the woods and you're in close, you know, close cover that, that you can't hardly see five feet in front of you, uh, it, it doesn't help to have a whole bunch of guys. Okay, I'll go in. Yeah, she looks like... There it goes! It's still flying. Still flying. People hire me to watch these dogs. I'm just the guy who, who controls them. But the dogs, they're really the stars of what goes on out in the grouse woods. Yeah, well, I can tell you these guys, if it was laying out here, they would find it. Yep. Nice job there, buddy. Nice job, nice job. Yeah, <laughs> she's just standing there That's like so this. Funny. <laughs> there you go. So, hey, of all the ones you had no idea if you got, you got this one. I got this. I'm Judy Fuller, and I'm the owner of the North Branch Outing Club, located on the banks of the North Branch of the Osabo River in the village of Lovells, Michigan. It started out called the Douglas House. It had eight bedrooms, and they, and they included the general store downstairs, and T.E. Douglas and his wife Martha lived upstairs with their two children. And then from there, it got popular at the turn of the century, and uh, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Harvey Firestone, 
the Dodge Brothers, Nash, Durant, all started to come here. So the lodge had to be bigger. The thing that was important about the North Branch Outing Club was that they had two amenities that they didn't have any place else up north. They had indoor plumbing and they had electricity. So that was quite a feature to have. So we're just gonna paint a line up here and we're gonna draw a straight line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a straight line with the rod tip. And the rod tip's gonna travel in a straight line and stop and travel in a straight line back here and stop. But the line is from here to here. Well, the line is following the rod. Well, it's stop, 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 stop. Say it and you will do it. If you say it to yourself, you won't do it. You have to verbalize it. I don't okay. know what it is. The Osalvo Riverboat is a really unique design. It's uh, indigenous to the system, um, to the river system here. It was used over 100 years ago for supplying lumber camps up and down the river uh, with, uh, with the necessary supplies to keep the camps going. Uh, it turns out it also makes a fantastic fly fishing boat as well.